and welcome back to a new week, new game. This is where I go through and pick a game that I have never played before and give it a play for about 30 minutes or so and uh, see if it's if I'm going to enjoy the game or not. If it's something that I would play again, if it's something I would enjoy. Today's game is Snowtopia. Snowtopia is a simulation game, building, management, base building of, you guessed it, a ski resort. That's right. Because I'm sure everyone out there has been to ski resorts and know exactly how these are supposed to be run. We'll have the right idea on how to make your own ski resort and make the people of the ski resort happy because that's what's really important is making them happy. If they're happy, that's good publicity for me, and my ski resort grows to be successful. So without further ado, let's get in the game. And do a new game. Alright, levels of difficulty. Three access points, difficulty, criteria, access to sky zone, slope diversity, ground, is it homogeneity? Building land proportion, obstacle dense density. So we'll do that. We'll go Mount Alpha and hit a new game. Doesn't immediately throw us into a tutorial. Maybe we'll get little tutorial pop ups. Here it is. There's the tutorial. Many features have been added or changed in this version of the game. We strongly advise you to follow the tutorial to learn about them. Well, all right, let's do that. Starting out. Hi, what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Are you lost? There's nothing but snow around here. What am I doing here? I like starting the day with a nice racing walk in the icy air. Oh, so you want to build the ski resort of your dreams? In that case, you've come to the right place. To start with, take a trip around the mountain and study it study its relief you can always hover your cursor over the entries in the list to get more information or open the game help indicated by a question mark all right i guess we just can get a little look see q and e to rotate the camera we can zoom in and out with our mouse wheel or I'll open the game help which is determined by question mark Bottom right of my screen is the book. It's not a question mark. It's a book. Very good. Well, not bad for a start. How dumb would you look if you didn't know how to get about? Anyway, don't worry. I've been making a few calls and some folks are really excited about all this and want to help out. You could use a few more helping hands around here, right? And that just shows us all the different controls and all those wonderful things. Am I supposed to do anything else? Oh, here's a new person. Builder's Lodge. A whole team has volunteered to help you out. Now they need materials and logistics. Once you have a functional Builder's Lodge, you can construct the rest of the ski area. Place these buildings beside the zone where you wish to make your ski area. That way builders won't have to go far to reach the zone they are constructing. Alright. What am I placing? Uh, open the construction menu. Which is this. That says maintenance though, it doesn't say construction. But okay. I guess the one that says maintenance is what's known as the construction manual. Uh, select the Builder's Lodge. Builder's Lodge. Build a Builder's Lodge. Don't mind if I do. I have to be attached to this. Building must connect to a navigation zone. Okay, so it has to be one of these ones here. I'll just Picture, right? There. 
here. Did I build it? Oh, I just gotta pick the direction that it wants to face. There you go! Everything is set to launch your first construction site. Take a moment to stand back and contemplate the mountainside. Imagine the magnificent ski resort that you'll soon be sitting upon it. Slopes, ski lifts, and also areas of untouched natural beauty. I can't wait. How about you? I could wait a little longer. Holy snowflakes, a ski resort in my own backyard. It's like a dream come true. Can I help you out? Please say I can. I can do absolutely anything. Where do I start? Uh, don't do your head in about it. A ski toe and slope are all I need to keep me happy. If skiers don't show up despite your best efforts, there must be a problem with the connection between the access point, the slope, and the ski lift. Or, the ski lift could be closed. Well, I guess that's something we gotta do. Build a ski lift. There's lifts. One person fixed grip surface toe. One person detachable grip surface toe. Uh, two person fixed grips chairlift. Uh, uh, does it say which one? Nope. So you gotta pick like which slope we're gonna do. Maybe this one here. site waiting for builders uh, do I gotta tell them to... are they just like on their way yeah. oh it's going okay it's just it's like slow doesn't show really a progress bar. I click on it. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Uh, build a ski lift. Build a slope, which I'm assuming this is going to be the slope, unless I need to do it. Right here, slope. Let's do a narrow slope. Slope must connect to another slope. Or to a navigation zone. the slope and then we will greet our first a skier see any skiers down here there we go slope is being constructed and they'll just go down and be like whoa whoa
Hmm. Oh, they do have a fast forward button too. I could just speed things up. There we go. Hey, we got an achievement. I welcomed the first gear I did. There. There he is. I don't believe it. The first skiers have already arrived at your resort. Look at them lining up for the ski lift. They make their way up, then whoosh. They zip straight back down. <laughs> Some of them are really bad. Even I can ski better than that. Anyway, I've got to go. I have a sudden hankering to hit the slopes. Look at them. Look at them all there. Ah, uh, let's savor the moment. With a slope and a ski lift, what could possibly ruin the day? Well, I'll tell you. Boredom. I'm bored. Let's go skiing, they said. It'll be fun. Is it too much to ask to have access to the activities we desire? At this stage of the game, skiers will mostly be looking for slopes adapted to their ski levels. And basic service buildings. Alright. Build two green slopes. Select a green skier. Which one's a green skier? skier? Sports glove kid. The blues or reds. Blues are snowstruck lovers. Aim the camera at a green skier. Guess when I build the green slope, then we will have that. How do I make a green slope? Signposts? Oh, okay, I see that one has blue. forward get that uh they could agree there's a the camera at the green skier. It is aimed at them. Oh god, they're multiplying. Oh, looks like we got someone who's dead out there. I suffered a serious fall. <laughs> Sucker. There's a specific ski camera or something that I have to use. <clears throat>
Oh, okay, I can make. I don't know if that counts as a separate slip. Am I supposed to do something? Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to do something. Hmm. Ski patrol. I'll we'll just leave him there, I'm sure it'll happen. There you go, did help. Two green slopes built. Now I gotta aim a camera at the green skier. Oh, why'd this one become blue? It's not blue, this is green. that not work? There we go, I had to press that button. That's what it was. Don't get too carried away. The first victory could also be your last. The toughest challenge is still to come. Keeping your skiers happy so they come back tomorrow. If they are really happy, they might arrive in greater numbers. Well, all right. Never thought I'd say it, but there's more to life than skiing. See for yourself. I have to stay on the sidelines because I lost my sunglasses. We absolutely must build some service buildings on the resort. Shops to gear up, restaurants to eat, and shelters to rest. These ensure we meet all our visitors' basic needs. Well, all right then. Uh, let's see. We gotta build services. Maintenance. Build a high altitude kiosk. Super. Is that what you mean? Oh, super or something else. The high altitude one is right next to it. Oop. Oh. High altitude food kiosk. And... A sunglasses shop. And I'm gonna get a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm gonna make a red.
Looks like we're not meeting some needs. Still an injured person here, too. No skier is going to be waiting on assistance for a while. get everything built new volunteer in the resort now that's better eh skiing takes energy so your visitors must rest from time to time their happiness depends on it so make sure to continue fulfilling their needs yeah volunteer management the volunteers Helping to maintain your resort, know what they have to do mostly. Since you observe everything, you are the one to decide on priorities. You will decide, for example, where the ski patrol lodges should work at full capacity, or perhaps you find restaurants more important. And all this happens in the volunteer's window. All right. Uh, so volunteers window. open the volunteers window I guess this thought that would be an area volunteers window change the priority order uh, lifts should I add a one person here uh, building buildings lodges should be number one priority Change the minimum staff size. Say... 75? Ooh. New volunteers regularly join the resort and automatically fill the available jobs according to the priorities you defined, and which you can modify any time. Although you should try not to drive the volunteers crazy. Oh, I'm going to. Uh, there's nothing like skiing down velvety snow, beholding the majesty of the snow-clad peaks. But I'd be more relaxing if the slopes weren't littered with injured skiers. Can't you hear their cries of pain echoing through the valleys? With patrollers, snow groomers, and mechanics, I'll feel a lot safer. And if a groomer's out there, it's crazy. Volunteers from the maintenance building sally forth to help skiers and installations that need their service. Build enough of them to keep your resort safe. <clears throat> well, alright then. Let's go do that. Uh, we need to build a ski patrol lodge. Which I'm thinking... Building cannot be put atop a slope. Building blocked by slope. Build mechanics workshop. Build a snow groomer hanger. Just this thing. And open the safety layer. The safety layer. Uh, skier feedback, volunteers, visitor surface maintenance lifts. That's bug reporting. 
Mode lines safety. Danger all right here. Anything I'm supposed to do about it? Somebody else go out there and fix it? Let's realize too, this is in the green. But it's like this end stretch here is really where all the green comes in. <laughs> These green guys are terrified. This is where all the good red is. And then it's just like me green. Still getting built. I'm like, what am I waiting for? I made a list of all the accidents that can happen at a ski resort. With snow groomers, patrollers, and mechanics, the number drops from 3,602 potential causes to 2,933. That's better than 67% of the resorts I've been to. Very nice. Maybe we got a achievement for that. <clears throat> Skier satisfaction. Your resort's kinda cute in its own way, but I do have a few suggestions to make, because I'm kind of particularly and hard to satisfy. You wouldn't have two or three hours spare to talk about it, would you? It's nothing. I just need slopes to suit my level and a few service buildings, and I wouldn't say no to a gorgeous landscape and a good sense of safety. Up to 12 skier profiles can visit your resort. All have different needs. Take the time to study them and understand their expectations to increase attendance at your resort. Uh, we've got a profile that has 50% average grade. The skier is left feedback. <clears throat> cool. Open the skier feedback window. Let's go see. Wow, you're really drawing in the crowds. If you keep on like this, you'll start attracting new skier profiles. And when you attract a new profile, you attract extra potential volunteers. Which is lucky, because soon enough, you're going to need a new skier lifts to cut down on waiting times. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure. Resort reputation. You must be wondering how to increase your influence. How to transcend the limits of your resort and keep attracting more and more visitors. How to gain maximum power and reach the very top? It's no secret. Just manage all aspects of your resort properly and it will gain in reputation. Reputation. Each reputation level will bring you new skier profiles, new buildings to unlock, and new technology, technological advancements. I knew what that word was. Uh, Greens really likes us because we got a lot of green ski lifts. Reds are like, eh. And blues are like, mm. So I see it <clears throat> anyways can exit out of this open the reputation window where's the reputation window is that in here uh yep oh, reputation display category details uh see your feedback sense of satisfy this is what we did reach reputation level one 
which I guess we will... Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna stick around for that one. <laughs> uh, nice try there, tutorial. You thought I was gonna just go right past that. We got a problem queue. We have lots of queuing. People be queuing like crazy. We're gonna need another ski lift. Do this one. Statue. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, uh, I'm ready to leave. Yeah, it is, we don't need to save anything, that's fine. I probably could have just stayed on the menu. Did my little outro, let's go do that so it's not complete black screen. <laughs> Alright, well that's, that's Snowtopia for you. It's not really a game for me. I like simulation and kind of management games and stuff like that. It doesn't feel like enough, though. It feels like it's missing something. I think if it had something along the lines of where you could take the position of the skier and like go down your own slopes, that would be something that was cool. I remember having a uh, theme park manager game and it was Roller Coaster Tycoon for the Windows 95, and I remember playing that game and always thinking, oh, it would be so cool if I could actually be in the position of the park goer and like go down my crazy roller coaster that I would make. And then there was a game called, I think it was Sims Theme Park or something on the PlayStation that did give you that option where you could be the park goer and get the first person perspective of going through the uh, theme park and riding the rides. And that made it better, in my opinion. Uh, Snowtopia, I don't think is a complete mess of a game. I'm on the fence of good or bad. It's not a game for me, and that's just because of the mechanics. I guess mainly would be the thing not being enjoyable to myself. I do like that I can make different slopes and kind of go crazy and then have like different grades and levels and things like that, being able to connect and turn. And I'm sure if I spent some more time on it, it'd be a lot fun to kind of make a crazy like whole ski path for like the red, the green and the blue. But just for this time being, it's uh, yeah, it's it's in the middle. It's, it sits in the middle for me. So yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.